All right, we're back on map number two. It is Twisted Meadows and the players have switched away from their favorite colors, gray and dark green, to the colors that were usually required uh, when games were uh, broadcasted by the ESL. It is red against yellow this time. Lucifer spawning in the bottom left corner of Twisted Meadows, starting this time with an altar and cigarette first so we're gonna see a quick dk and some quick harassment lucifer of course anticipating that his opponent wants to take a very big creep camp early on and he's going to be satisfied once he finds out that Todd has spawned on the bottom right spawn position which means that the goblin laboratory this one which Todd of course wants to creep early on is very close well somewhat close to lucifer's spawn position so Todd has gone for the fast build on his altar, so once his uh, AM is about halfway out, Lucifer's altar is gonna finish. Lucifer is scouting towards the top here, interestingly enough though. So uh, he is not going to find the spawn position of uh, Todd in time, as his Ecolite will be around, you know, like here, once the uh, DK spawns. Okay, never mind. Lucifer is scouting in both directions, uses a ghoul as well, so he's gonna find out about, about Todd's spawn position well ahead of time. Crypt about to finish, second cigarette coming, shop coming, so we're seeing a ghoul build order by Lucifer. No fiends at all, at least in the early game. AM is now spawning, the ghoul sees exactly what's happening. I would love to do a bit of blocking here, but uh, Perhaps a little bit afraid of taking all too much damage. Todd is pulling a total of uh, seven militia. Spending a bit of damage output, just chasing the ghoul away here. Second water metal should be spawned any second. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate for Todd that only one uh, ensnare thus far was triggered. But he's bringing the next footman in just in time. Otherwise, the second water metal would have gotten that ensnare and then it wouldn't have tanked anything but the way he's doing it right now is looking very very well Todd has taken a bit of damage on one of his militia but that's almost nothing finds the scourge bone chimes and the tome of strength not exactly the dream set of items but of, of course you know he's gonna work with it as best as he can Lucifer is gonna secure the first kill with his DK right now but I mean look at it Todd has just crept this picture perfect death knight is even though it was close positions, it's just arriving now as the creep camp has already finished. One peasant has fallen, which is, uh, you know, very, very easily uh, accept acceptable for the human player. DK running on at the top again. One ghoul. Uh, pretty hurt here already. I don't think that Lucifer desperately wants to spend a coil uh, healing up a ghoul here. So maybe that one's going to be sent back eventually. Ah, the backpack is once again being researched here before tier 2 tech starts on the side of the uh, undead. So he's not gonna have his tech too quickly. Todd just continues creeping for the time being. It's really tough to do anything about this from Lucifer's perspective as the creeps are pretty much uh, out of vision all the time for the DK unless he really runs very, very close to the human army. One of the gnolls going to the AM here and the second one probably will be going to Todd as well. Yeah, Lucifer not really too um, stubbornly trying to do anything about that. Militia being pulled right now and it looks like Todd is gonna go ahead, creep the expansion right now where the Scout Acolyte is already waiting. A bunch of ghouls being pulled here by Lucifer. It looks like he may be going towards the main of his opponent. The two tech started, Graveyard is coming, Militia are coming, and the creep camp has started here for the human. Death Knight is there. Not really sure how much he can do there. All on his own. He's trying to get the last here. Todd nicely waiting though with dealing more damage, baiting the coil at just a little bit over 100 HP on the Ogre Matcher and therefore Lucifer is still at 25 XP. At least he's getting this one troll but AM is already on level 3. In the meantime Militia and Ghouls are battling it out here in the main. Militia was the first unit to fall. Another one is gonna fall soon. First units of Todd, excuse me, of Lucifer are also starting to run low in HP. Actually, the one ghoul is being saved here. Still nothing lost by the undead. The two footmen here are gonna be enough to finish the creep camp, but Todd is there in time. He's gonna be able to finish all three of the low HP ghouls. And these three are very low HP as well. And this is looking very terrible all of a sudden already for Lucifer, 
who uh, wasn't able to do much against the lab creep. He wasn't able to do much against the creep of the expansion and who now has lost, what, five, six, I believe, ghouls in total while he only killed like maybe three, four peasants, which of course is not at all worth it. AM is level four already. So short only into the game. Not even five and a half minutes played. And Lucifer is at 16 supply. A Death Knight, three ghouls, and the Acolytes are on the field currently. And Todd's, well, Todd is just falling back. Maybe he's a little bit afraid of uh, being harassed right now because he didn't see where the Death Knight went. Actually, if he knew the Death Knight went all the way back to his main, I think he could have just gone to Lucifer's main as well with the level 2 water mantles and a bunch of footmen and just uh, made life hell for uh, Lucifer already. And Lucifer, yeah, he's getting a spirit tower. He seems to be a little bit afraid of uh, some harassment by the opponent, but uh, that's not going to be happening at least uh, just yet. New Rod has been bought by Lucifer, who's trying to deal some damage here. One peasant is going to get killed at the same time the first charge of the rod has been killed already as well. AM did grab the boots of speed at the shop, sold everything else. Actually, I'm not sure what he found here. He sold uh, the Scourge Bone Chimes, of course. And um, yeah, as I said, I'm not quite sure what he found here. I don't think it, were the, uh, it was the, the boots of speed because if that was the case, then... Well, he could have still gone to the shop just to sell the Scourge Bone Chimes, but uh, doesn't seem like the most natural thing to do in the world for Todd. So the only upside for Lucifer right now is that Todd is not really trying to uh, force too much aggression onto his base. He seems to be a little bit cautious, wants to just uh, basically uh, sit back and make sure he defends both of his bases properly. And he has suffered a bit economically from this uh, ghoul harass in the beginning. He's only at 120 lumber right now. He hasn't started his uh, town hall just yet. So that one is at least delayed by quite a bit. This time Todd uh, does have the means though to fall back into his towers. Not really too much of a force on the side of the undead to fight into that and therefore Lucifer yeah, decides to retreat for now. I don't really see him doing all too much against this. Reinforcing footmen, make sure not to walk through the undead army. And Lucifer, he is tier 2. He's adding more and more fiends, not taking up just yet. And not building a slaughterhouse just yet, so it looks like he may be just waiting for um, some more resources. Now he could go for tier 3. Decides not to do so though. He's going towards the lab. Is he gonna get a zeppelin? Yes, he is. So maybe Yeah, there's only one guard tower here in the base. So no arcane tower. So a drop somewhere here Seems like um, a Very tempting choice for Lucifer and that's exactly what he's gonna be doing He's gonna get the kill on a bunch of these peasants in the meantime Todd is taking another major creep camp though AM is already slowly working his way towards level 5 and yeah, Lucifer is doing some damage here. Question is just gonna be how much of an influence that's going to have on the late game. That's like six militia killed. Basically all of the lumber peasants called to militia by uh, Todd here. And yeah, more and more of them are falling slow right now by a mud golem on uh, the zeppelin. Damage output is not enough though, with only the one water metal they just uh, spawned inside the base. That one's defending for the time being. Expansion here is somewhat well defended as well. Don't really see a great point in flying over there for uh, Lucifer. And Todd, uh, yeah, maybe getting the Shredder now. And then uh, he should be in a perfectly fine position. Uh, Lucifer could quickly drop here and snipe the footman if he wanted to. Alright, another drop here. The guard tower is gonna get killed by the looks of it. Yeah, Todd is cancelling that one, not even trying to repair. Once again, everything is slowed into Zeppelin. Tier 3 is coming here. Double slaughterhouse for Lucifer. So what is he gonna transition into here? Mass Destroyers doesn't really seem to 
you know, be the most uh, natural choice following up those fiends. No, you know, Todd is given somewhat much time to uh, prepare for anything here. Basically, I'm curious. Did he reveal? Yeah, I'm not really sure what he did at the shop because uh, he didn't get the shredder by the looks of it. And he didn't get anything else, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Perhaps he was waiting there for a timely reveal above the forest against the Zeppelin, but we can't really know. Lucifer is falling back for the time being. Going to tier 3, I mean, the big trump for him is that Todd is just now going to tier 2, so he is Todd that is, is not gonna have, okay, there's the Shredder, is not gonna have a great army to fight Lucifer for a long time, of course, uh, that kind of excludes major creep checks like uh, this one, but just from a straight up perspective, it's not gonna be too easy for Todd to fight anytime soon, but alright, he's got the expansion, he can draw this game out for a while if he wants to. Okay, and uh, Lucifer is adding the destroyer upgrade and a meat wagon. So yeah, some big push with some fiends, destroyers and wagons is uh, what this game seems to be heading for. So Lucifer would love to get some more creeping in, but at quite a bit of a risk because Todd is of course there, he's going for the Naga first here, the Force Draw Warlord is going to lose with a Lionhorn of Storm, not the item he was hoping for. There, there is a Town Portal, okay, and he's actually pulling it quite early here, not even trying to uh, fight for these last two Force Draw Trappers. Let's see if there's going to be any XP Tome dropping for Todd. There is none. AM is going to stay at uh, level 4.5 here for the time being. This time, by the way, Todd is the one finding the Greater Mana Potion. Adds a heal scroll and an immobile potion. Lich is out right now and this is with the orb where uh, Lucifer really wants to start trading slow onto the Naga. The Mud Golem is retreating immediately. Bunch of footmen are taking some damage here. Lucifer still hasn't really taken any damage on anything. A lot of slow is being casted on everything though. Yeah, and Lucifer really wants to get this Mud Golem killed and he should be successful in doing so. Yeah, he's now getting the kill. And this is really the point where Todd can no longer, in good conscience, continue trading. The Naga is taking some hits, but with the Unholy Aura, there's not really any great chasing potential on the side of Todd. So uh, the human is retreating for now. Winning some time, though. Tier 3 is coming quite quickly here. The Mountain King is coming. No Tier 2 blinks just yet. A bunch of towers at the expansion. A few towers at the main. But uh, yeah, at the same time, Lucifer's army is not looking that weak currently. And Todd is just continuing to creep basically with his solo AM. This time, the human is the one buying the Zeppelin. First, Meat Wagon has arrived here already. And at some point, Todd is gonna have to come home to defend here. I mean, he'd perhaps love to use this uh, lab for uh, some shenanigans in the undead main base. And he finds a Sobi mask and um, an XP tome. He is level five right now. He used the greater mana potion. MK has spawned. But other than that, there's not really anything on the field just yet for Todd. And he is super greedy with his tier three tech. There are still, okay, there are two arcane sanctums right now coming at the um, expansion of Todd. But he's gonna have to hold out here for a while. And he's actually cancelled his tier 3 take, okay, so he's going into full defense mode, he realizes the pressure is too much, there are 3 meat wagons here, so uh, going up to tier 3 was just too greedy and maybe even without the tier 3 take, he could be running into some trouble here, the MK has fallen, the altar has fallen and the first farm has fallen as well, Todd has finished the creep camp final here, he's getting double zapper, one defense footman is gonna tank the hits here from the tower and Lucifer is not switching away, to the zapper in time, the tower gets killed, the next zapper is gonna come in, no great damage dealt by any individual zappers here, two zappers equal two ziggurat kills here, so the under player is supply block for now at 54 out of 40 supply, he can really not afford losing these acolytes at the moment, so he's putting them back, DM with a level 3 waterman of course is having a very easy time dealing with the ghouls so the undead heroes are forced to pull back there are three meat wagons and the fiends still shooting at the main so Todd is uh, in some trouble 
holding that one. At the same time, uh, his AM is not going to be able to stay in the other base forever. He's going to Town Portal back. And then um, Lucifer is going to have to Town Portal. F uh, uh, Lucifer is going to have to march forward again, of course. Um, and he's actually not carrying a Town Portal anymore, Lucifer, that is. So, um, going to have to be careful as well. One of the wagons is falling. One of the statues is going to be falling as well before the undead heroes arrive again. That should be the time when Todd is going to have to retreat again. The footman is going to be taken care of quite quickly. And then it's only going to be the AM and the water metals left standing. At the same time, first two breakers are spawning. The MK is being rebuilt just now at the expansion where a new altar has been put well, has been finished already, has been put into production quite a while ago. And, uh, well, those kills were actually very, very painful on the side of Lucifer because he's just now starting to rebuild stuff again. Next um, wagon might be falling as well. AM is staying safe for the time being. The wagon is being microed, well, somewhat by Lucifer, who is now bringing in a uh, new Zeppelin. And that one, yeah, is going to keep those wagons alive for the time being. Water Metal gets killed. The wagons will be dropped again, but Todd is holding his keep for the time being. The 5.5 a.m. MK is back. More breakers are coming. By the way, two masonry upgrades finished for that keep, and that, yeah, desperately needs those. So both of them with a Zeppelin right now. Shredder has been bought by the human player. The Zeppelin is actually out of position to save those wagons for the time being, but actually it's the MK that gets in trouble first again, and he's being taken down. The Zeppelin is microed in time. Both the wagons are being saved. The Shredder is being killed next, and only four breakers are not really the most threatening force to uh, Lucifer at the moment. One more statue is being killed, though. Now the breaker will be killed as well. Naga has to retreat. The Lich is being coiled here. And, well... Todd is holding on with everything he can with the level three with the three level three water metals. Of course, some very good damage are pro put provided. Lucifer retreating for the time being. Both his statues have fallen, and his wagons are looking quite unhealthy here. So I mean, look at the top left corner. The Death Knight has mana for one coil. The Lich has some mana, and the Naga is more or less completely out of mana. That's a lot of steam that Lucifer is lacking here currently. MK is back once again. Still hasn't gained. A single point of experience has died twice though. But uh, the base is still standing here. And this expansion is running and running and running. And more and more casters are spawning on the side of Todd. It's still 58 supply for Lucifer against 43 for Todd. Okay, wagons will be attacked first once again. The Zeppelin is there. Lucifer is not paying attention though, losing one of his wagons. The Death Knight is now. Under some pressure. Keep in mind, he doesn't have a town portal, so he's gonna have to stay careful here. He's being loaded into the Zeppelin, but he's too greedy and he's losing the Zeppelin. Now, Death Knight is dizzy. The Mountain King is falling first again, though. But the Breakers and his own wagon are blocking his Death Knight, and now his first hero has fallen. And Lucifer, all of a sudden, seems to be the one who's gonna have to get out of this fight. The Lich is sniping another Breaker. Is retreating right now, though. With the one Sorg, there's quite a bit of slow available on the side of the human already. And, yeah, one more... Well, the last wagon is falling... Everything is slowed here, and Lucifer is forced to run, and Todd is going to have so much time before Lucifer can start another push. The destroyer is being killed while morphing into the air. Three units are slowed here. That's a total of 11 supply for Lucifer that may or may not go down on their way home, and that seems to be too much for the undead player to handle. Whew, tense game. Uh, Lucifer with a terrible start to this one. Todd, I think, not quite grasping the uh, extent of the lead he had after the uh, early push by Lucifer, when Lucifer had nothing left but his Death Knight and three ghouls against an AM level 4 and I believe five footmen at least. So uh, that perhaps was when Todd gave a little bit too much space to Lucifer to basically stabilize and just come back into this game somewhat... Uh, safely somewhat you know more stable than was necessary at the same time Todd had taken quite a bit of damage economically and his expansion was extremely late uh, something that I didn't mention during the game is that he went for those uh, three towers at his expansion 
before he went for the town hall. Of course, his town hall was late because he had uh, not a uh, lumber, but um, you know, in hindsight, of course, Todd could have gone for the town hall more quickly. But I think the issue was that he was lacking um, scouting information, and for all he knew, Todd could have also gone for um, quick double crypt gargles on tier two, which you know, sort of would have been a good reason for why uh, Lucifer went for that big push against the economy with so many ghouls just to delay income, to delay tower production. So um, perhaps that was a bit of a reason for why Todd went so overly cautious after that uh, first uh, skirmishes and uh, why he went for towers first instead of the town hall. Well, anyways... Um, he still got into a somewhat stable position position in the mid-game. Lucifer was able to gather quite a strong army, though. Once again, showed some good micro in front of Todd's base. Todd uh, pretty greedily going for tier 3. Eventually, he had to cancel it. And, well, at the end of the day, it just came down to the Death Knight kill. Lucifer trying to go for the main, you know, put Todd on the, under quite a bit of pressure. But uh, he was able to hold on, he was able to eventually kill the Death Knight and with that, of course, win the game. So we are tied 1-1 and we'll have uh, Secret Valley as the deciding map.